Now, I want to be absolutely clear here. What I have been calling a map, when we're looking at the MCA values here, is actually called hard coding. And the real map is done in the channel authentication records, which we're going to look at in a second. But for now, go to the secure messaging scenarios PDF and you will see that the hard coding that you're doing at the MCA level, when you enter the MCA user value, what you're supposed to do for security reasons is called hard coding. And then separately you do the mapping inside your channel authentication rules. So that means you could have MCA user and CHL auth. And when you have both, it's the CHL auth rules, the most specific rules that win. In other words, if this is your client and this is your queue manager, and this is a Windows box, so you're logged in as administrator, for example, and then on your queue, on your queue manager, you have a channel that has a MCA user value hard coded as MQM, then you can, this is gonna be the value when the channel starts up, but then when messages start flowing, you can convert the, the user that's running the process to a particular user through the user map. And all of that happens through the channel authentication records. So imagine that your channel authentication record looks like this, and instead of address with a star, you have a 192.168.0.1, and instead of your MQM for the client user, you're saying bill, and then you have these other properties involved. And if your network looks like this, where you have your channel authentication record that says, if I'm coming in with an address of 192.168.0.1, do the user map from MQM, so that's gonna be MQM when the channel starts, and then convert it into bill, once the first messages from Bill start flowing, that do that mapping. And in the case, and this could be Bob, and this could be Alice. And in the case where you're using certificates, then what you'll find is in the certificate that Alice is sending, you'll have the subject name, which is going to look in the subject name, pull out the DN, look at the DN, and pull out Alice from it. And then Alice from that will be sent in here. And all of these names are referred to as the client user or the client user ID. 